this is what $60 at the Half Price Books outlet looks like. Unraveling the Mystery of Autism and Pervasive Developmental Disorder, otherwise known as PDD. This one was $5. This was the most expensive book I bought. Legit. I got this whole stack was 75 cents. Girl Talk, Unsolicited Advice for Modern Ladies. This is just like a cute little one, but since it was um, a hardback, it's 75 cents. The Twelve Gifts of Birth is like a little children's book that was 75 cents. It goes through like all of the gifts from God, like strength and curiosity and beauty. So it's just cute. Mindful Pregnancy and Birth, 75 cents. And then, do you recognize her? Amy Farrah Fowler. My Ambiolic. Anyway, this is her, like, parenting style. It's all about, like, attachment parenting, so it's pretty interesting. All of these movies were a dollar. This one is, like, sight word reading, but it's a DVD, and the kids, like, watch it and read with it, which I just thought was super cool, and for a dollar, I was like, why not? There's your Memento. I got the best-looking DVD. Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was not $4.99. It was $1.00. Where the Wild Things Are, Wandala. And Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events because this movie is just funny. One Tree Hill, Season 4, for $5. And then all of these One Tree Hill, or not One Tree Hill, Win the, Win Calls the Heart movies. So these are like all the Hallmark movies. These were $3 each. Some of them have never been opened. Like I think these three or two... Two of them have, no, three of them have not even been opened. Three dollars. And then I got this book. Just look at the cover. Totally cute. This one was three dollars, but it's like a novel, sort of, and it was just so cute. These were blind dates with a book, so I have no idea what the books are, but you got the description, and then you just picked which one, like, appealed to you. And I got two of those, so I'm going to do, like, some content with those. And then this whole stack was 50 cents each. So smart discipline, fast lasting solutions, child's self-esteem, peace of mind, 50 cents, first time mom, getting off on the right foot from birth to first grade, 50 cents, kids, sex, and screens, raising strong, resilient children in the sexualized digital age. I think this one will be really interesting. Again, 50 cents, 50 cents. Pregnancy do's and don'ts. What kindergarten teachers and baby makes three. Six step plan for preserving marital intimacy and rekindling romance after baby arrives. Letters to God, which is a famous novel. 50 cents. Spiritual parenting. This one is really, really interesting sounding. It's about like how to draw your children to God and raise them up with God. Unlock Einstein. New Brain Science to Wake Up the Smart in Your Child. The Parenting Project, Build Extraordinary Relationships with Your Kids Through Daily Conversation. This one also is very appealing. 50 cents. They had this one for $3 too, but I got the 50 cent version. Comprehending Math, which goes hand in hand with a book I got the other day at our half price books. And then this one is Wonder Play 2, which I feel like maybe like Aubrey and I can probably share this one. Because it's like all these little kitty activities. Science, math, music, etc. 50 cents! Okay, a little bit different, but at Goodwill, I found all of these books for a dollar at one of the Goodwills. This cute parrots one. I have like this whole series of like nonfiction animal books. And that one was just really pretty. I got Emily's Runaway Imagination by Beverly Cleary. I absolutely love her books and I've read almost all of them and I haven't read that one so I got that one got hashtag girl boss by Sophia Amoruso looks interesting the growth mindset coach this is obviously a teaching or education one but it's very similar to the teaching children to drive their learning that I did a review on on my youtube channel so you can go check that out and then I will be posting reviews of all these obviously after I read them but that one Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because 
classic. And Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, also a classic. Judy Bloom. These were all a dollar, if not less. I'm really, she might have rang them up at less. And then the last one that I'm going to show you guys in this video is this um, Smart But Scattered. I did see this one at Half Price Books, and it was more expensive. I got it for a dollar today, so I'm happy I waited. And it's just about how to um, boost kids' focus, help them get organized about their executive functioning skills, um, and it gives, like, some sample checklists and stuff. So for my IEP goals and my IEP kiddos who um, have those goals might be helpful, and I'm excited to read that one, too.